What if you can't open a window to get an antenna wire out? Here's one possible solution. I'll try it with an N-fed wire about 20 meters long. It relies on making a capacitor. You need access to both the inside and outside of the window. Plus some aluminium foil which will form the capacitor's plates. I'm going to try a piece of foil about 30 by 30 centimetres. You want it to be as close as possible to the window, so it's a good idea to tape it all around. And try not to crinkle the foil so you've got it as flat as possible. Now I've got another piece of foil and it's not quite cut square but I need it to be overlapping the other foil as much as possible and I'm putting that on the outside of the window. The limitation of this is that you need access to both sides of the window. The antenna I'll be using is 20 meters of wire, so it's a half wavelength on 7 megahertz and a full wavelength on 14 megahertz. I'll use it as an in fed. The idea is that because it's got such a high feed point impedance, the capacitive losses will be much lower than if I was using a low impedance antenna. At least that's the idea. I'll do a comparison on Whisper between this antenna when it's connected through the window capacitor and when it's connected straight. It won't be much of an antenna installation but it will still be the same installation in both test examples so that should give a reasonable idea as to the losses I'm going to get through the window capacitor. I'll use a short counterpoise attached to the antenna coupler and I will transmit Whisper first of all with the antenna without the coupling capacitor for the window or have a direct feed just temporarily through the front door and then I'll switch over to having the capacitor and seeing if there's any difference in the signal reports received. Tape to the foil is some insulated wire that I've stripped back about three or four centimeters. I'd only be recommending this for QRP and if it was exposed to moisture then it would likely oxidize so that would be a problem if it was on an outside window. So I'm only going to be suggesting this for a temporary installation unless you are able to put some sort of waterproofing on it. So this is the connection on the inside and this wire I'll have going to the antenna coupler and I've got a similar wire connection on the outside. This is the end of the wire antenna, 20 meters long, so I'll alternate it between it going directly to the coupler and via the window capacitor, just tied to this. Here's a schematic diagram of the setup. Cable to transceiver, antenna coupler, short counterpoise, short wire taped to aluminium foil on the inside of the window, then aluminium foil on the outside, both foils 30 by 30 centimetres, though I think possibly bigger the better, and the antenna wire, 20 metres long is what I used.
I tried some whisper transmissions on both 40 and 30 meters, alternating between connections via the window capacitor and directly. I noticed that at certain distances, at around 400 kilometers, the signal levels were very volatile and there are significant differences even between successive two minute blocks. At that sort of distance, propagation on 40 meters is the short skip type, which is very volatile in signal level, so it wasn't very reliable for comparisons. Then when I looked at further distances, like over about 600 kilometers, the difference was more uniform. Typically, I was losing around 5 dB when I chose the antenna option going via the window glass. 5 dB is quite a lot. It basically means sacrificing two-thirds of your transmitter power output. Still with 5 watts whisper, I was able to get some spots as far as the United States, KFS, and EA8BFK. But there were more spots that I got with the antenna directly connected than via the window capacitor, as you'd expect. Now on 30 meters, the difference was much less. Again, there is volatility for short skip type distances, but for most of the measurements, the differences were only like 1 or 2 dB. I tried this arrangement on 80 meters and I did get a contact to some locals on SSB. I tried both the connection directly and the capacitor via the window. I didn't do any checks on Whisper but on SSB the results were slightly better with the direct connection. Later on that evening, when I went outside on a very cold night to dismantle the temporary antenna, I noticed that one of the connections here was open. This was a wire a bit like a link dipole, where I had connections so you could make it a half wavelength on either 20 meters, 30 meters, or with both the connections bridged on 40 meters. Anyway, when I got the thing down, I found that the one up here was open. So it is possible that I was using it as an infed half wavelength on 30 meters, but on 40 meters, it was too short for that. Now, the reason why I say it's possible is that the connection might have come adrift when I was pulling the wire down. So that's something to bear in mind and it might have been one reason for the better results and lower loss on 30 meters than 40 meters. I'd have to repeat this experiment to confirm it. So what's the summary? Basically, don't do it unless you have to. If you can, try to get your antenna wire going directly into the house. But if you've got no alternative, then coupling from the transceiver through a window to the antenna may be a way of getting on air. And if you're a shortwave listener, then the small amount of loss would be fairly inconsequential to the signal to noise ratio of your received signal. Although with an NFED arrangement like this, you are likely to pick up more noise, including from electrical equipment you've got at home than if you had an antenna that had a feed line and then your dipole elements splitting off at a remote location. Really this is only half an experiment and I should do it for more frequencies and with different antennas to see if it is more universally applicable. But I'll leave that to you. Try it, just get some aluminium foil from the kitchen, some wires, an antenna coupler and let me know your results in the comments below.